hi so i'm gonna do an unboxing today um it's kind of like a haul slash unboxing on the weekend i went to selfridges and they have partnered up with birchbox and they're doing a make your own birchbox this month at selfridges so here is my selfridges bag it is pretty beat up because i put it in my purse as it was pouring rain on the weekend all right so it's really really full so i can't really hold up the whole box to show you the front and so this is what the front looks like and it's really really cute it's kind of like an x pattern and it says birch box at selfridges and it says your next beauty discovery awaits um i think the box is really cute the base is again my favorite color so it was interesting this um this month is the anniversary of Birchbox. So they're doing like special things uh to get people kind of like engaged with the brand and to celebrate. So at Selfridges you could pick out your own things and then they also sent out an email to people who were subscribed and who ordered Birchbox. They could get an additional couple of items. So I brought in my email and I got the additional couple of items. So, I'll see if those are on the top. I'll try and pull those out first. Alright, so the two items that you got if you brought in the email was this, which is a, um, it's like an eye, it's like one of those ones where you refrigerate it and you put it on your eyes, up here. Why can't I remember what this is called? Reduce puffiness and help your eyes look more awake. Ugh. Alright. So this is what it is. Um, it's an eye mask and you refrigerate it and you put it on your eyes. Um, I'll, yeah, I'm definitely going to try this out. I was excited that that was one of the things just mainly because work gets kind of crazy and it might be nice to have something to kind of decompress with. And the second thing that you got if you brought in like this email for being a Birchbox subscriber was a pencil sharpener. And I was really happy about this one as well because I'm in like great need of a new one. I've almost broken my old one, so hopefully this works. So it's just a little normal eye and lip pencil sharpener. And it just says Birchbox on it. So. Yeah, it's cute. I hope it works. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't tried anything that's in the box yet. Um, but I was pretty happy that that was one of the things that I was hoping that by the time I got there, they'd still have some left. But I went the first weekend, so there were still the gifts there. Uh, and the really interesting thing is that the way that it's done... I'm going to pull out the little card. So when you got there, they would give you a card... Um, and it's the Birchbox at Selfridges card. And on the inside, it explains to you kind of how to build your own Birchbox. So what it does is it says there are one, two, five different categories. So in the makeup category, you got to pick two things. And then you got to pick one from each of the other categories, which, you know, you got one from skincare, one from body care, one from hair care, and one beauty treat. So that was... It was pretty interesting actually because you kind of like got an idea of how they build together the boxes. Um, so it was kind of interesting like of an idea. You kind of think like, oh, that is why they come that way. <laughs> Rambling. So for the um, makeup area, they had quite a lot of things actually. They had um, a lot of lip stuff, a couple of a mascara, a eyeshadow trio, they had a, honestly it was, it was mostly lip stuff, lip stuff and then one Benefit Professional, um, an eyeliner and a mascara and the rest, and the eyeshadows and the rest were all lip things. And for some reason I was actually feeling in the mood to get some lip things, like a little lip thing for my purse um, to try it out. I've been looking really hard for something that's like really not sticky to use. So... The first one that I got here is the Miraness, and it's a glossy kiss in Starlet. And it's meant to be kind of how they all are now, and they're, you know, a lip 
lip color and cheek color. Um, it's pretty cute. It's like quite chubby uh, and it comes like it's like a glossy. Oh my god, I cannot get this open. Ooh. I didn't break it, thankfully. So, you know, it's a nice little like pinkish red color with quite a few. I honestly thought it was going to be a bit more orange. I was kind of hoping it would be a bit more orange. But yeah, it's, it's got a bunch of glitter in it and it's kind of like a pinky red. I do not think that would be the best for a cheek color. But it kind of like blends completely away to just being glitter if you just <laughs> blend it enough. Um, I'm pretty excited to try that out and it's just like a perfect size to carry around with you. And then the next thing that I got from the makeup, so my second makeup item, was um, a Stila, and it's also again a lip and cheek, it's like this little lip and cheek color. And this is in Lilium. It's like a really nice pinky, like a very natural, I don't even know if you'll see on my skin. Um, it's just like, it's honestly very close to my skin color. It's just very light and I thought it'd be very easy and it's not very sticky as well. I just thought it was a little bit different because it's not a stick or anything like that. It's just kind of a bit more like a lip gloss and it comes with a little mirror in it, which this is really, really cute. Um, so it'd be perfect to put into my purse again. I haven't tried a new Stila, um, product in a really, really long time, pretty much since like before I moved here from Canada. I haven't tried anything new from them for over two years now. So it'll be neat to try something new. The last lip thing that I had from Stila, I really did not like. Like it was a crazy, they had like these lip glass things and it was an insanely sticky product. Like I can't even talk about how sticky it was, um, but I got rid of all of those. So hopefully this will be a much better experience. And then, Moving on to the, we'll do skincare next. Skincare. Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. It's like an anti-aging face cream. And I got it because the girl who was there was just genuinely super, super nice and helpful. And she was saying that, you know, for sensitive skin, she hasn't, she really liked it. Um, her name was... I want to say her name was Charlene, but I'm sure that it was not. But she had like really long, straight brown hair and like brown eyes, and she was like really, really nice. So if you go there and you see this long haired, brown, brown haired person, talk to her. She's like really, really nice and helped me out a lot. So I got this, and it's the ultimate anti aging solution. It helps reduce wrinkles, firm skin, and increase radiance in 15 days. After cleansing, work a pea sized amount onto your hand and into your hands and massage it over your face. I got this one because there was also, there was a multi-use dry oil, a nighttime facial where you like went to bed and it brightens your complexion by the morning and a shea butter thing as well. And I had a couple of similar things to the other options. Also, I don't know, I just really wanted to get like a good cream just to try it out and I'm pretty sure she said that the full size is like quite expensive so it's not something that I would ever kind of happen upon so I thought it would be a good chance to try something a little bit nicer for my skin and then next is the body care and the body care I got the Trilogy Everything Balm so it comes in this box it's a 45 milliliter and the Elemis one was a 30 milliliter as well, so they're pretty good size samples. Here, I'll open this up. Oh my god. Failing with packaging. Ugh. Human versus paper. Who wins? Oh my god, it's actually so amazingly cute on the inside. This is the inside of the box, which is just. 20,000 times nicer than the outside of the box. It seems a bit of a waste, but how adorable. Can I live inside of the box? I feel like it'd be a nice little house to live in. Um, so it's the Everything Bomb from Trilogy. 
and it says it's a nourishing salve to soothe and condition face, body, lips, cuticles, or well, everything. Apply it anywhere that feels a little dry and irritable and that needs some TLC. So I wanted that mainly for my hands. Um, I work in an office, so I don't know if anyone else works in an office feels this way, but like once you, I feel like when you deal with a lot of paper every day, you're kind of moving paper around, it tends to make my hands feel very dry. I don't know. And like air conditioning in offices is just like not, not my scene. From the body care thing, there's also a Bliss Lemon and Sage body butter, a Rituals Yogi Flow Foaming Shower Gel, and a CC Body Cream from Wish. I uh, didn't really want any of those bronzing creams to really work for me. Um, and then from the hair care section, you also got to pick something from there. There was a Beauty Protector, Protect and Oil, and you got to have two of them. And then there was a parlor by Jeff Chastain, and it's a moisturizing sea salt spray. There was a Percy and Reed Reassuringly Firm Session Hold Hairspray. And then there's what I got, which is the Philip Kingsley Dranium and Neroli Elasticizer. So I got this one. And I got it because the girl who was there was like really nice and helpful, and I was saying that my hair because I dyed it blue and it's now this mess of a situation. I really wanted something to deal with the fact that it's really, really dry and it's like quite damaged at this point after all the fun, fun things I did to get the blue in and the fun things I'm doing to try and get the blue out. It's been an adventure. Um, so I wanted something to really deal with the breakage and the damage and she suggested that there were two really good options. The Beauty Protector, which apparently is really good on Birchbox, like it's got really good reviews, and it's a Birchbox exclusive. And then she said this one, she's tried it, and she said it was like really, really nice. Um, it says to leave on for 20 minutes, rinse, then shampoo, and she said that if you, if I really wanted to have it like really affect my hair, um, that I could put it on overnight. And so I'm really excited to try that out, and hopefully it will save my hair a little bit. So the final thing that you got was a beauty treat. Um, and they had, there was two pillow sprays. They're supposed to help you with sleeping. Um, there was a toothpaste and a key ring. And I don't know, I, I don't really, I don't know if I believe in pillow sprays or any of those lavender things. I've had things that were lavender before that were meant to help me sleep and they just re they really didn't do anything for me. I don't know if it's just me, if maybe I wasn't just invested in the whole idea enough to <laughs> fall asleep. I'm not sure. Who knows? So I didn't really want that and the toothpaste seemed... I don't know. I, I don't... I don't know if like experimenting with toothpaste is my thing. It's kind of just like I have my toothpaste that I use and that's what I want to use. And I honestly just bought like a bunch because it was on offer. So anyway, so I, end of super long rambling story. I got the, the Birch Wash keychain. It's still in packaging, honestly. Oh my God, get it open. Again, can I open anything? Nothing, can't even. Alright, so it was, it's this kind of like, um, purpley pink kind of tassel keychain. It's like a gold and it says Birchbox on one side and it has uh, lips on it. I really like tassels, like I really like tassels. I don't, there's some like on my bed here that I got in Morocco. I'm like a big fan of tassels. I have an unbelievable amount of them. So tassels brainwashed me into getting this. So that is what everything that I got from the Birchbox at Selfridges. I really enjoyed the experience. It was kind of interesting to go through and pick out something from each category and see what was there. And you also kind of got to test, you tested out a few things while they were, you were there. So I tried out um, some of the different scents of the body butters and things and I got to get an idea of what it was before I got it, um, which was different. It was like, it had really cool parts of it, and then there's also like the mystery aspect of when you do order your birch box, how you just, you know, you don't really know what's going to show up, and then you get to like open it, and you get to be really surprised 
Um, but I did enjoy this. I don't know if I would enjoy doing it all the time. They have it on for like another, it's a whole month that they have it on for at Selfridges. And they told me that they're going to be changing their products. So in two weeks, they said they'd be changing over some of the products. So I might go back with a friend who's looking into it and see if they got anything new that I'd be into getting again. And it was 15 pounds. So it's just a little bit more expensive than the regular birch box. Um, but I'm really excited about the things I got. Uh, there are a few things that, you know, I was looking to find. And also the box is just so cute. I love it a lot. I love the combination of the, the pink and the blue. It's really, really cute. I like the size of the birch boxes. I love to store things in tiny boxes. <laughs> so it's perfect for me. Um, yeah. I have no idea how this got to be such a long wrap video. Anyway, um, if I get another one, I will post a video of my part two if I get one. If I don't, I will post my next birch box. But this was a pretty enjoyable experience. And if you have a chance to go there, um, I just hope it just can be a bit overwhelming if you aren't used to it. But it is like, it's, it's just past like all the big cosmetics things on the way to like the women's street fashion area um no and they really seemed like they wanted to help anyone out because everyone was wet and looked miserable so anyway but if you have a chance and you're in london during the month of september then i would say definitely pop in and give it a peek because you don't have to actually buy it you can just look and see if you want anything if you don't you can just walk away which is kind of like cool that if you didn't find six things you wanted you don't have to do it i saw people there who were getting like at least two, I saw these two girls there they were getting I think one of them was getting two of them and one of them was getting three so they could be gifts they could be for themselves no one's judging um and everyone there was really really helpful and super friendly so it was just a fun experience to like talk about beauty products and makeup with people and pick out the things you wanted to try so I enjoyed the experience and hopefully I will post some stuff about my next one soon all right Thank you for watching. I'm so sorry if this is like really long and rambling again. Pretty tired. It's late at night. Don't judge me. I tried. All right. Anyway, bye.